Good morning, my friends. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to my channel, Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy. Really glad you're here today. It is Saturday morning at the time of the recording this video. It is Saturday morning, November 26th here in the States. I was sitting down to have some coffee and spirit impressed on me that somebody needs a message today. So we are doing a collective reading today. I set the intention that whenever you see this reading, whenever it crosses your feed, it's meant for you. So take what resonates for you. There's something here for you. Leave anything that doesn't. And don't try to make it fit your scenario. If it's not for you, it's not for you. But there will be something here for you if this reading has crossed your feed. So please enjoy and let's get started. I am asking for nine cards for you. We're just going to relax and we're going to see what the message is for you because I feel a message. Spirit has some kind of message for you. So let's see what it is, okay? Let's see what it is. Nine cards, please, Spirit. Ooh, we have the Ace of Pentacles in the world. Somebody has completed a big cycle. You have two aces here in the top row. These are beautiful new beginnings. These are not only a beautiful new beginning for you, but they are a gift from the universe. We like gifts from the universe. They're always better than what we can do for ourselves. And your overall energy is judgment. You are in a time of change. You're in a time of really releasing the past all of the past stuff that did not serve you anymore. Your past self, letting go of old behaviors, of old uh, thought patterns, and things that just weren't working for you in your now. You're in the, you've been, I feel, in this energy of really re releasing all of the stuff that doesn't hurt, that doesn't feel good to you anymore, that doesn't serve your purpose anymore, that cannot go into your future with you anymore because it just wasn't working. Now, this can mean people, places, things, but you see the essence in this card. She's releasing the essence. This is all old energy, okay? So you've been in this period of releasing old energy. And for me, I feel like that's thought patterns, beliefs, behaviors that maybe attracted the wrong things into your life. So yes, you could have had to remove people. You could have had to remove yourself You've maybe let go of some friends, some uh, things around you. Maybe you've even had to move into a totally different way of living with the releasing of these things in your past that were not serving your purpose anymore. But it's a time of change. If you notice that the number, the number for judgment is 20, and in some... Uh, tarot cards that is the Roman numerals XX and 10 is the end of cycles and you have a double 10 here double 10 so you've been going through a big giant period of change and it may not have been very comfortable for you because releasing old patterns and things that didn't serve you anymore it's hard to let go sometimes because we go through you know we have comfort zones and we hold on to things sometimes we're addicted to those old emotions and the old energies and so it's probably been a huge period of change and it's probably not been very recent. It's, it may have been this entire year. It may have been since Scorpio season, maybe six weeks ago, two months ago. But you are really coming into your power under the judgment card. These are destiny cards. So whatever it is, I see how this spirit had a message for you. And I see why now, because all of this energy is very, very powerful. All of this energy is destined for you. You're part, it's part of your, your, you had to go through it for a reason. This is more important and it's bigger than you think. So uh, try to relax. If you are in this energy of letting go of things from your past and it's been very challenging for you, it's been very uncomfortable, you know, think about the caterpillar going into the, you know, the, the cocoon and coming out the butterfly. The caterpillar has to go through a death process. Scorpio season is a death process, and I feel like you've, you've had to go through a big death process. You've had to release a lot of things on the inside of you that were habits and things that you've grown accustomed to, that you lived your life by, 
and you had to, to just completely change behaviors, be cha change thinking patterns, letting go of all that did not serve you anymore because spirit has a plan for you and they want you in your power because it's your life. There's a purpose for you that's much bigger than you think. So I didn't plan on going this route with this reading, especially right out of the gate, but definitely I see why Spirit has me here because there is somebody out there that is watching this reading right now. I'm talking to you and you are going through a very massive change and it's maybe uncomfortable and it's all designed to put you into your power. So if you don't feel like you're in your power right now, if you feel like you're going through a very big challenge, Realize that there's more going on here than you think. Try to really relax and trust and breathe through it. And realize that you are in your power. You have everything inside you to create the life that you want. And it's there. Everything that you want is there for a reason. It's there because it's yours. It's there because it's your destiny. These are destiny cards, this card and this card, the two cards out of the gate, right? When we start talking are destiny cards. You have two very powerful new beginnings here in your spread that we haven't even gotten to yet. Very big gifts from the universe. There's much going on here than more than you think. So realize that you have everything in the inside of you to create the life that you desire. You are on the right path. And you are in your power. You're in your power to create right now. What do you want to create? Okay. This is a brand new beginning. This is the number one card, the magician. He has a brand new beginning in all areas of his life. He has the ace of cups, the ace of pentacles, the ace of swords, and the ace of wands all within him here. You don't see it on this particular card, but in more the original tarot and other decks, you see them all in his presence, all those aces. This is you standing in your power after going through a huge change in transformation, much like the butterfly. You're coming out of your cocoon into your power, into a completely different being. And you're creating your future, okay? So get really, really clear about what you want to create because you're creating it and you're on, your, you're on a brand new path right now. This could be you going into the new year, really just taking the new year by storm in your power and creating, you know, blasting through your goals, really just knowing what you want to create next year. So this is destiny here. You're totally in your destiny. You're in a new beginning. That's also a new beginning in communication. If that resonates for you, a new beginning in communication with maybe a connection that's been on hold or maybe something from your past returning. Um, you know, it's looking to me like though, that your past needed to be released, that nothing from your past should go with you into your future. Now that can be just for some of you. It doesn't have to be for all of you, but I'm seeing this judgment card and I'm seeing you being in your power with the magician card. And I feel like your life is going in a brand new direction because nothing from your past was meant to go with you in your future. Maybe for a select few of you, there is somebody from your past that you uh, that will be coming back as a second chance. And communication is going to start very soon. But for most of you, I feel like the past is not good enough for you anymore. You've grown out of it. And now you're going into a brand new future with a brand new connection and new experiences. Okay, you have the Ace of Pentacles the justice, and the page of pentacles. You're ready for something new here. The first thing I see is new. There's new, new, new in this spread. All of them. Even in your past, you have the judgment card here. This is another destiny card, you guys. There's a lot of destiny cards here. This is a very important message for somebody. Very important for somebody specific um, maybe the majority of you that are that are connected to me, that are coming across my channel and being a part of my tribe, are going through a lot of shedding of the old and really just finding balance because you your life has been out of balance and anything from your past that created that that out of balance energy in your life is being removed. 
okay? And you have this magician, a brand new beginning, but this is all part of your plan. You had to go through this and it might have been very uncomfortable for you, but you had to go through this for part of a plan. There's a bigger purpose to this than you think. And the universe has got you. The universe has really got you. They're creating balance. They're giving you justice where you had injustice in the past. That's why I feel like for most of you, the energy of the past is not is not going with you into your future in this new beginning because it created injustice. This is righting the wrongs of the past and creating the balance that you needed all along that there was not there was not balance. And that's why things needed to be removed to create this balance for you and create a better future for you. Something that you enjoy, something that's more stable, that gives you more happiness, that gives you more in your life. I feel like you just didn't, you had imbalance and you have this two of swords here that, that's like frustration and not being able to see forward, but you have all this squawking going on in your ear and you're just frustrated and not being able to see. You're not being able to make a decision. Maybe you didn't trust yourself. Maybe you didn't trust your intuition because you kind of lost yourself along the way. Now, that's the imbalance I'm talking about. You have justice here. Justice is in your favor. Universe is bringing you justice and righting all the wrongs in your life. So you've had to let go of a lot of things in order to get that justice, okay? Now you have this brand new beginning, this Ace of Pentacles. This is my favorite card, my most favorite card in this deck. This is a gift. You're being given a gift of a new beginning and it's going to bring you stability and long-term happiness. This is something stable. This can be this can mean it is pentacles, so it can mean money because pentacles is is in the here and now. It's usually connected to your money. You could be giving being given a new job opportunity. You could be given maybe in the your recent past you were given a new job opportunity that's bringing you balance in your finances. You also have the page of pentacles here, which is you just wanting a new beginning. You want that change. You're ready for this change. You're ready for a solid, stable new beginning that isn't wishy-washy, that isn't out of balance, that isn't one giving you giving more than, re than you receive. You want something solid. You want something stable. Now, whether that means in your finances, your life in general, which I feel like in this card, it is your life in general, but since it is pentacles and we do have the ace of pentacles here, you could be looking to have more stability in your life, in your finances, and it could be love too, because we had an imbalance here, and justice coming, taking you through this change of the judgment card into your new beginning, creating balance. Here's your balance. Here's your stability. Here is your new beginning. You're on a brand new path. See how she's literally standing on the ground here. This is a brand new path that you're standing on. This is brand new solid ground that you're standing on after going through a period of change. I, I Usually this row would be your recent past, but I feel like this is where you're at now. You're just ready for this new beginning, okay? And it's creating for you abundance and it's creating for you stability, self-sufficiency, being solid, stable, self-sufficient, and if this is a love situation for some of you, this is a very, very grounded, very solid and stable offer that is coming your way. That has been a gift from the universe that you could not have attracted to you had you not gone through this change. You had to go through this change in order to um, raise your vibration, to attract this beautiful energy here. You attracted this balance. You see how in this justice card, they're on the, if you turn it upside down, it's like going through a dark night of the soul. It's ridding yourself of all the things inside that you, that weren't working for you, that weren't creating this balance and justice that you needed. So you had to work through a lot of dark energy and release it to become something new. See that? She looks completely different. 
You had to release all of the old past conditioning, thinking habits right here. You let go of the whole essence of your past to create something new. And here's your something new. You're on the path of a brand new life going into, coming out of this year, going into the new year, you're literally starting over. You're planting new roots. You're completely starting over and you're ready for it. You are absolutely ready for it, being this Page of Pentacles here. You could be dealing with an earth sign. You could be an earth sign. This can be a very specific message for an earth sign, but you don't need, it doesn't need to be that way, okay? It can resonate for you if it is resonating for you, no matter what sign you are. If you've gone through a period of confusion and really doubting yourself, and you've had to go through a lot of changes and releasing, working through some old dark energy and releasing the past to become somebody completely new, no matter what sign you are, this is for you. Okay, you have, we have the world card here. We have the moon card here. These are also destiny cards. This process that you have been in, my friend, you have been going through for a reason. There is a much bigger purpose here to your story than you think. Now the moon card is going through a period of uncertainty and really having to trust your intuition. Like I said, you had to go through some dark releasing of old habits and energy from past uh, conditioning, past hurts, past disappointments, childhood wounding. You've done a lot of work on yourself and you've come full circle and you should be very proud of yourself because this was a major life event that has happened to you. Maybe something happened that triggered all of this. It's been a major life event and you've come full circle. You should be very proud of yourself. As we close out this year, no matter when you're seeing this video, because this video could actually cross your path many months from now, whenever it is that, that it comes across your path, you've probably been going through a lot of changes and a lot of uncertainty, walking a dark path, trying to find your sun your sunlight, okay? And you've come, this is you finding that light. Look at this card is all lit up, but you have come full circle in whatever you've been walking through, whatever challenges you've been walking through, you have come full circle. This card is number 21 and the judgment card is number 20. You have gone through a lot of releasing from the past, you've come full circle, you've, come, you've learned a lot of lessons and you're ready for change. This is all part of a big destiny purpose for you. You've had to walk through this and I'm sorry that it was so uncomfortable and it may still be because this is an uncomfortable energy. This is something that you've had to go through to evolve, to evolve into this new being, okay? You've had to really trust your intuition. You may be connected to the moon. We just had a the new moon in Sagittarius. No matter when you're watching this, you could be connected to moon cycles. This could be the next full moon coming up that triggers some kind of change in you. And we have, this is an uncertain energy, really just kind of trying to see in the dark, you know? You've been really trying to see in the dark. You maybe have not known or understood what you're going through. You know that you're going through a lot of changes with that judgment card, and you don't realize how far you've come with this world card. You've come full circle. You're done. You've learned the lessons of the past. You're good. You're done. You're ready for new. You're ready for all this new beginning. You're ready for stability. You're ready for self-sufficiency. You're ready to just be happy. You want to be stable, though. I see that with this Queen of Pentacles and all this Pentacles. You want to be stable. You feel unstable, I feel, right now. This is you feeling unstable and, and trying to see your way forward, but it's the moon card. It's the, the nighttime. You have, see how you have this blindfold here. You're trying to see your way forward, and you're just having to blindly trust your intuition right now and you really don't know and you are and you maybe are not trusting yourself because you really don't know where you're going because you can't see it. And you may have thoughts and, and people maybe squawking in your ear telling you, no, this way, no, this way, no, this way. 
and you must be doing something wrong because if you're not doing anything wrong then why is all this stuff happening to you why are you going through all these challenges so know that whatever squawking in your ear first of all is not right you're going through this for a reason you're ha you're leveling up okay with this world card you're leveling up you're creating balance in your life you're creating justice where there was not justice for you the the justice is in your favor the justice is here to tell you that we're righting the wrongs of the past we're bringing you justice where you had injustice in the past but you had to go through a change in order to receive this okay but you're a brand new individual now you're a brand new person just like the the caterpillar going through the cocoon to come out the butterfly is a completely different person or a completely different thing than what it was when it went into the cocoon it had to die a death to come out a brand new beautiful butterfly and that's what you're doing you're in this process and you may not have come out of it yet and you may not be able to see your way through and you may be re seeing or hearing all these things squawking in your ear telling you things negative things now shoo them away and know that you are on the right path you have completed a life cycle this is you trusting your intuition and you don't have a choice right now but to trust your intuition your intuition is actually leading you down the right path even if it doesn't feel like it I want to make that super clear because the person who is watching this reading right now really really needs to know that you are absolutely on your right path and you're ready for this change and let me tell you what is coming okay let me get a sip of my coffee remember we have the magician here you're on the right path you're actually on your new beginning you actually have new communication coming in from somebody who's been thinking about you and now this can mean love and this can mean life this can mean finances whatever it is that is resonating for you right now I feel like it's kind of overall life for you but you have this here's your ace of swords it's brand new communication here so this is something that is coming towards you or you're walking right into this new clarity this new communication this new inspiration this, this new ideas that are going to take you where you want to go now you may already know what this is for you but you've been walking through a lot of blindness here really completing life cycles letting go of a lot of stuff and really not even realizing that this is all part of your destiny right now this is all something that you needed to go through to release the old past to create a new a better life for yourself to really step into your power here is your new beginning okay you have the, the magician telling you you're in a new beginning you're in your power but you also have this ace of swords which is communication inspiration new ideas uh, starting a brand new path see how you have the stairs here you're on your way to leveling up you've actually leveled up but this is a new level that you're going to be going up and it's just going to be inspiring and clear for you after all this unclear unclear energy here and this uncertainty and not trusting your intuition or or having to just completely rely on your intuition because you cannot see in front of you you're going to have clarity here you are going to be able to see in front of you now you have a brand new beginning it's inspiring for you it's a it's brand new communication it's brand new ideas it's everything that you need to move forward with and whatever it is that you need right now if it's love you have new love here you have somebody that that's going to that you're going to be communicating with on the same page as you if it's if it's new ideas for your life if it's if it's a new beginning in a job or a career or a business you have your new beginning here no matter what resonates for you and it can be for your overall life we don't have to just specifically talk about love we don't have to just specifically talk about finances this is your life taking on a new turn a new direction and rising you into a new level okay you might have thought with this page of cups see how we have the pig flying you know the, the um, you know the the term when pigs fly 
you might have thought that what you want for your life is unachievable, unattainable. When pigs fly means it's too good to be true, means I can never get that because pigs don't fly. This is somebody who's connecting with his heart and he's thinking that what he wants is unachievable, okay? This can be you and this can be your thoughts telling you that it's not possible. You're going in the wrong direction. What you want is never gonna happen. Whatever it is, don't listen to that negativity. Don't buy into that because it's crap. This is in your heart for a reason. See how his you have all this light and it's kind of directing you to his heart space. What you're thinking about is actually there for a reason and it's going to bring you stability. So what it is that they're telling you is that what you're thinking about is actually the new beginning that they have for you. So start believing in it. Start believing in your good luck. Start believing in your new beginning. Start believing in your clarity and your inspiration and your hope. Start believing in that connection that you want to attract to you or a reconnection of somebody that you're, you're wanting to reconnect with. But I'm telling you, release the past. Completely let go. Any past energy, completely let go. You need a new thinking. You need a new thinking pattern, a new uh, behavioral pattern. You need new habits and you've got it right here. Any past energy, let it go. If it's meant for you, it will come back to you, but let it go. Let it go and be in the, be in the energy of the magician. You're creating your life. Just focus on what you want and let go of the past. Whatever past energy that is meant to go forward with you will come to you, okay? I see stability here. I see that you want stability and I see that you may have trouble believing in your stability, but you have the Queen of Pentacles here. She is the Queen of Stability. You're ending your reading with this Queen of Pentacles. This is you being completely stable. This is you with this Ace of Pentacles right here. She's holding the Ace of Pentacles. This is you creating that stable life that you want so much. That stability and self-sufficiency, being happy, being content, having long-term happiness instead of having maybe things coming and going out of your life because of that imbalance. You got rid of all that. You let go of all the dark energy of the past. And here you are ending this reading as a solid, stable, compassionate, working person. This is somebody who is holding down the fort. She I say she because the energy on the card is a she, but this is not a gender specific reading. She is a working mom. She holds everything together. She's very stable. Everything she touches turns to gold. She can literally sell anything because she is the queen of pentacles. But this is also resonating for this person watching as a very stable individual, very stable future, very stable life. This is happiness, this is contentment, this is long-term stability. So whatever it is that you want to create for your life, you have it right here in this very dependable, very dedicated, very solid energy. You're ending your reading with this solid energy. This is, this is really beautiful. Now this can be a relationship because the Queen of Pentacles, she's a queen to her king. She is married. So you can be, this is, you know, if you're creating love, this is a solid love relationship. You're ending your relation, you're ending this reading in a solid love relationship. So you can believe it, put to rest any of the old stories that tell you that it's too good to be true. Because that's what your heart wants and it wants it for a reason. And here it is. You have your new beginning and you're ending your reading with this happy, solid relationship. If this is money, you're ending your reading with this Ace of Pentacles in your hands. This is you regardless of whether you are a male or female, it doesn't matter. This is earth energy, it doesn't matter. This is the energy that you're ending this reading in. You've come through a lot and you are coming into stability. No matter what that means for you, the person watching this reading, 
Your stability is right here. Stable, stability and happiness, stability and finances, stability in your life. No more flipping and flopping. No more not knowing what's coming, what's going. No more of this. Blindly going through life. Hearing squawking and negativity. No more dark energy of imbalance. You have justice in your favor. You've cut out a lot in your life that created injustice. And now it's time for you to be a completely new individual, enjoying your new stability in however that looks like for you. Because you manifested it, my friend. And because the universe has a lot more for you than you think. So stay in your power. Know that you're in your power. And expect this stability to come very, very soon if it's not here for you already. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Spirit had this special plan for you today, this special reading, and that's why I'm here. I had no intention of doing this when I got up and made my coffee. <coughs> so enjoy, and I'll see you in the next reading. <laughs>